So we've just arrived at our next destination. So we've come down to Wood Walton Fen. Again, been here before. I'm just going to film this little bit in the car because it is so windy outside. I'm really not sure what the microphone is going to be doing. I mean, the problem with the whole area around here, it's all fenland, so it's all very flat, very open. So you do, you know, if the wind starts to blow across here, it can get really rough. Um, but we've seen marsh harriers here, and again, you know, I'll put a link up above to a video I did here of, of marsh harriers uh, maybe a year or so ago. And yeah, we just kind of wander around. You get kingfishers, all sorts of things, really. A lot of Chinese water deer as well, so hopefully, we might spot a Chinese water deer. So let's go and have a wander around and see what we can find. Just sit up here for a little while. I mean, as we've been walking up here, we've seen a couple of birds of prey in the distance uh, floating around. I think one was a, probably a, a red kite. I'm not sure what the other one was. Kestrel, possibly even peregrine. Not sure it went too quick. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to sit up here for a minute and just see if anything turns up. It's a really warm day today. I mean, it's February. Where are we? I don't know, 16th of February, something like that. 15th, 16th of February. Um, it's 17 degrees, I mean, it's windy, so the wind's keeping it cool, but I'm beginning to think I shouldn't have put this big coat on at the moment, because it is getting a bit warm. But we're just going to sit up here, see if we see any birds of prey, excuse me if you keep looking around, or any, maybe some Chinese water deer up here as well, that might be the other thing we'll see, so, eyes peeled. So we just walked to the end of the path up here. There's a bank at the end of here that then overlooks into some marshland. Um, I've just got eyes on two marsh harriers just over the other side of the bank. It's really windy if I pop my head up, so I'm just going to record this down here at the minute. And then we're just going to maybe walk a little bit further along, see if we can get a bit closer. But there was two of them over in the uh, reeds over the far side. I uh, just went down into there. So let's go and see if we can find these marsh harriers. Just position myself, just peeking over the bank. Uh, I'm just sitting down, just just on the you know on the side that's a bit sheltered on the bank. Camera low down, and just looking over these reeds and marshes here, where I've seen the marsh arrows. Just can't see them at the moment. I mean, hopefully they're going to pop up again at some stage for us to have a look. Um, I mean, they were a bit distant, but but not too bad. So you never know. I'm quite comfortable here, you know, it's quite nice sitting down, I'm not walking around, just having a bit of a relax, I'm going to have a bit of something to eat in a minute, um, and just, uh, yeah, spend a little bit of time here, just see if these marsh harriers reappear. To 
be honest, this is not normally the place we actually see the marsh harrows around here. Uh, there is a hide further around, um, which overlooks the reed beds, and, and normally they're around the, that sort of hide. But yeah, I've just seen them over here, which is quite nice because it's it's away from the people, away from everybody else. Uh, the hide can get busy, and if they do show, it could be quite nice over here. I'm, I'm, got quite a high vantage point really on this bank so it would be nice to see them we'd almost be looking down on them a little bit maybe which would be good No sign of the marsh harriers yet, but uh, just had a great fly pass from a buzzard. Uh, really nice in the, just catching the light a little bit as well, which is quite nice. Um, again, another stunning bird of prey. So, yeah, that's not bad. So, just waiting to see if these marsh harriers appear. But I think they're just hunkering down out the wind, to be honest. I think you know they've been a bit sensible, unlike me, and just just hiding out the wind. We've just had a sparrowhawk now come past. A great place to sit and watch things. You know, if I'd been walking around, I just wouldn't see these things. But saw this, thought it was a kettle at first. Took a few shots, looked at the shots, and it looks like it's a sparrowhawk. Um, so again, it, it didn't stick around for long. I mean, they don't. They pass by fairly quick. I think I can still see it over the far side because I think it's it's spooking the birds quite a bit in the distance. Um, so I'm just gonna. I'm just going to leave you guys for a minute because I'm not sure if it's coming back this way. Yeah, I'm not sure. In this wind, everything is just moving around so quick. I mean, I'm, I haven't tried to hold the camera a bit because it's uh, it's blowing around like bilio. So, um, but yeah, so what a great place. I mean, the great view over here, just looking out over the fen, um, absolutely superb. Just just want to see these these marsh harriers come back out again. But whether they've disappeared while I wasn't looking, I'm not sure. But at the moment, I can't see them. So this storm that they've named Storm Dudley, they said it would come in later in the day and it's what, it's, it's 20 past one now. I mean, it's been pretty windy all day, but I can really feel things starting to change a bit now. It's getting windier. Um, the skies are getting a bit more menacing. So I think I'm gonna move to a bit more of a sheltered area in a minute, because I don't even know if you guys can hear me in the microphone because this wind is sort of taking my whoop, and moving the camera this wind is taking my breath away and, and shifted the camera around so um, yeah I think we're gonna find somewhere that's a bit more sheltered <laughs> well 
Storm Dudley is definitely on its way in. This is. I've been in. I've been in one more storm like this. Not as it was worse than this, I have to say, but I can see this is going to get pretty significant. I know. I know it's supposed to be concentrated in Scotland, Northern England, but you know I'm down here in the Midlands, Cambridgeshire, and in the Fens, and yeah, I can certainly feel something starting to move in. Struggling to keep my hat on for a start off, and it, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but it is re getting really windy now. I'm going to go and find some shelter. <sighs> well, well, that's a bit better. Um, on top of that bank you could really feel the storm starting to move in it was getting really windy the sun's gone now so it's clouding over um but let's have a walk around see if we can find anything else shame we didn't see the marsh areas i mean they didn't come back a fleeting glimpse when they when i first got up on the bank uh, but i guess they're just hunkering down out the window i would think you know, certainly much better around here, much calmer. I've just spotted the marsh harrow just over these reeds in front of us here fired off a couple of quick shots it was sort of behind the trees and things so it wasn't very easy to get to but um, pretty sure it's a marsh area I'll post up the photo if it's any good I think we might have grabbed one shot maybe but you know not fantastic so just keeping my eyes peeled again it just sort of popped up over these reeds as I was walking down this path um, but seems to have disappeared again at the moment so I don't know. Maybe it'll rip here, maybe it won't. The marsh Harris just done another fly pass, so I managed to grab a couple of quick shots. Um, it's really difficult. I've not got good visibility through here. So I've got a couple and I know are out of focus, but then I've got a couple Unfortunately, against the sky, it's nice to get them with a background, some trees or the reeds or something at the background. But uh, the shots I've got of that were a little bit blurred. But once it got up in the sky, I think I've got a couple of reasonable shots of the marsh area. So all is not lost. We have something. Well, I think that's going to be it. I mean, a friend of mine, JP Lamru, I'll, I'll put a link to his channel um, in the description below. He said a little while ago, one of the worst conditions for photography and for vlogging is the wind. And I have to say, I totally agree with him today. It's, it's been tough, you know. Um, we've got, I mean, we've seen lots of things. We've seen marsh arrows, we've seen short-eared owls, we've seen sparrowhawks. Um, we just haven't been able to get any, what I think, are decent shots um, and decent video because, you know, and this wind really isn't helping the cause here today. Um, but yeah, it's still fantastic. I mean, you know, you list those birds out and you think, well, you've seen those birds. That is absolutely incredible. Um, what's really frustrating me is over here at the moment, the marsh area is back up. I can see it again now where I was. Um, in fact there's a hide over that one it's probably I would say just in front of the hide at the moment so, uh, so that's a little bit frustrating I'm, I'm almost tempted to go back but I'm not because I know when I get there it's probably going to go back down in the reeds and I'm not going to see it again so thanks very much for watching whatever you're doing have a great day and I'll catch up with you again soon that's it from me bye for now